This is the stomach. Got this little, there's the esophagus that connects to the stomach. It connects at a region called the cardiac region, and inside of that's a cardiac valve. This little bulgy part on the end is the fundus. Most of the rest of the stomach is the body. The duodenum would connect to this end. And this is the pyloric region. And in the pyloric region is the pyloric valve. This outer covering is called the serosa. It's the same thing as a parietal per peritoneum. And these little white stringy things is called the subserous plexus. These are nerves associated with serosa. And these are muscles, You've got three layers of muscles. And then these stringy things, stringy white things right here that are associated just with the muscles, that's the myenteric plexus, myo means muscles. And there are three layers of muscles in the stomach. You have longitudinal muscles, which run in the same direction as the stomach. These are circular muscles that run perpendicular to the stomach. And these that run kind of at an angle, these are oblique muscles. This big curve right here is called the greater curvature. And the smaller curve right here is called the lesser curvature. And we open up the stomach. We can see some internal structures. Got these folds right here called the rugae, and that allows for the stomach to expand when it fills up with food. And you have this white layer. Well, the lining is the mucosa. This white layer, you could say it's the submucosa. This reddish layer, that's the muscularis. And the outermost layer, it's the serosa. Got the cardiac region of the stomach. And these little, where all the folds right here kind of merge together. It's not really that clear. That's a, this is the pi, cardiac region. This is a cardiac region of the stomach. And where all of these kind of merge together, you can see a little raised area right here, the cardiac sphincter. Now this is the pyloric region of the stomach. And you can easily see the pyloric sphincter which leads to the first part of the small intestines of duodenum. And then that's the esophagus up here. 